All right, Shalom. I want to start this lesson off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are in this truth and sincerity. And I just want to do this lesson on this scripture, John 14 and 1. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High. Believe also in me. All right? And I just wanted uh, to do a lesson because I was meditating on the scripture uh, while I was at uh, the plantation. Okay? And I was just meditating because my, my mind was being troubled. All right? While I, while I was at, at work, there was all kind of uh, demons uh, uh, bombarding me in my mind. Trying as hard as they can to, to trouble me. All right, and we're we're in this flesh, man. Like as the scripture says, uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So of course, those demons do mess with us, and of course, sometimes we do uh, fall short. All right, but as it is written, a, a just man uh, falleth seven times and get get up again. All right, roughly paraphrasing. So a righteous man is gonna fall a plethora of times. All right, countless times. A man of the Lord will fall. But the thing is, a man of the Lord is going to get back up, man, every time. It doesn't matter how, how many times how many times a man of the Lord falls, he's going to get back up, man. Okay? All right, but I was just thinking of the scripture, and it comforted me, man. It really, it sincerely, it comforted me, man. All right, I started thinking about the kingdom. Just this scripture alone, man. <laughs> Not even the next part, but that the next part, too. But verse 1, that that really comforted me, just uh, thinking about that. Let not your heart be troubled. And I want to get that word. Uh, um, for let let uh, be troubled. All right. And it's uh, the Greek word, uh, tarazo, tarazo, if I'm not mistaken. I'll let him say it. Strong's G, 5015. Tarasso. Tarasso. Yep. Tarasso. Let me see something. Lord willing, you can hear me. Uh, sometimes uh, it messes up the audio. So, Lord willing, you can hear me. But, yeah, Tarasso. And it says, to agitate trouble, a thing by the movement of its parts to and fro, uh, uh, this one, this one's good. It says to cause one inward commotion, take away his calmness of mind, disturb his equanimity, and that's a heavy word, equanimity, which pretty much means your uh, composure, all right, or, or um, your composure or, or your your um, your state of mind, like uh, your calmness, your mental clarity. All right. Matter of fact, let me look that up because that is a heavy word. Uh, equanimity. It says mental calmness, composure, and evenness of temper, especially in a difficult situation. <laughs> Yo, the first scripture that comes to mind after reading that, you should already know where I'm going. This this classic is a staple in this. But so like it, this scripture is a classic. <laughs> this scripture is a classic, and it's a staple in this truth, man. This scripture, Isaiah thirty three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is his treasure, which the name of the heavenly Father is his it is um Yahweh. And the name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son. Okay? I'm going to read that again, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So the thing that's going to get us sta that's going to uh, keep us stable and get us through the times that we're coming into, the times that we're in right now, because things are... Things are uh 
things are, are, are heating up right now, man. All right? Things are heating up, and it's going to uh, reach a boiling point. And that's Jacob's trouble. But the thing that's going to get us through those times is not only faith, but wisdom and knowledge. That's what's going to keep us stable, man. All right? And scriptures like John 14 and 1, those scriptures are going to comfort us in those days. All right? Let not your heart be troubled. That's going in, into being stable, man. Because the the word for um, uh, tarazo is going into your, your calmness of mind. So the scripture is pretty much saying, don't let your, your peace be taken from you. All right? Your peace of mind, so to speak. But like I said, we, we are in the flesh, so we're going to have moments of weakness. But we have to fight through that. That's why this truth is a fight. All right? But um, it says, to disquiet, make restless, stir up to trouble. So, like, don't let these... these um. Don't let these, these 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 demonic thoughts, or just your thoughts in general, don't let that throw you off, man. Maintain, and I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, all right? We got to maintain our friend, all right? Ma maintain our friend. Maintain, like they say in the world, uh, um, they be saying, uh, maintain your, your masculine friend. That's the same thing, and it's truth. Okay? Because to have faith, that's a masculine trait. Having faith. In the times that we're coming into, we're going to need an extraordinary amount of faith. All right? And that's why we have to pray for more faith. Okay? And that makes me think of, uh, not to get off topic, but um, our brother in our camp, uh, Nathan Allah, he made a heavy lesson. As a matter of fact, just so you can see it. He 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 just um uploaded a heavy lesson and I, I recommend watching it right here. GMS Yahweh's gift. Uh the brother's name is uh Nathaniel Olive. But yeah, that's it. watch this video. That, that that was a heavy dream that he had. He had a dream of Jacob's trouble. He had a dream uh and within that dream uh the Lord gave him spiritual power. That was a, a spiritual dream. Watch that dream. Watch I mean watch that video, Swakia. <laughs> My mind is fried right now, it's lucky. I can't even think straight right now, but um But yeah, um going back to the scripture, I'm gonna I'm gonna read on. It says Uh in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So that's what's waiting for us, man. That's what's waiting for us if we if we just continue uh continue pushing forward, man. And enduring all things for the elect's sake. Alright, as the apostle Paul said. Okay. Lord willing we endure all things and reach that finish line, that's what's waiting for us, man. Those many mansions that's going into those different planets. Okay? Yeah, how shine the angels are, are in the heavens right now, creating new planets, creating new new galaxies for the elect. Because in the kingdom of heaven, we're going we to uh, uh, space travel, all right? Because you, you damn devils, you so-called, uh, you self-proclaimed white white uh, people, the so-called white man, he likes to, um, which are the biblical Edomites, Esau, Edom, all right, the, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the son of perdition. The man is sin. This this goddamn devil, he tries to push in his movies. Well, he try not even in his movies. He pushes it in his movies, of course. But he tries to push in the media that that, that he that he has uh, satellites uh, out out in space. All right, he sent he sent uh, satellites that, that that went that traveled uh t past uh to the end of the 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 solar system. That's all bullshit, man. You damn devils uh, can't even reach the moon. You can't even reach the moon because there's a radiation belt around the Earth. All right, the, the highest you can go is, is the the International Space Station. That's not even that's technically not even in space. The International Space Station technically isn't even in space. 
it's just so high up that it, it's continually falling. It continually falls around the earth because it's so high up that it, it will never reach the ground. All right? But you damn devils, you, you will never be able to travel to other uh, solar systems. You'll never be able to travel to other planets. You'll never even be, be able to travel to the moon. Okay? You devils never went to the moon. All right? You you deceive the whole world of 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 with that with that wine, all right? Through your media, you deceive the whole world. You devil never went to the moon, all right? But in the kingdom of heaven, as the scripture just says, there's many many houses, man, many mansions in the heavens, all right? And we're actually gonna have access to that. Lord willing, we be of the elect. Lord willing, we endure to the end. So this that this is comforting, man. <laughs> This is comforting. All, all, all the the hell that we go through now is worth it, man. All right. All the hell that we catch is worth it on this side. All right, because at the end of the day, man, we gonna uh, obtain salvation. We gonna get those new bodies. Matter of fact, that made me think of another scripture. I'm just trying to get some comforting scriptures, man. Really, to to comfort myself, but Lord willing. The ones who 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 uh, hear this, Lord willing, your comfort as well. All right, because my mind, like I said, I was being bombarded with with demons in my mind. All right, but I was just thinking of of, of that that scripture in John fourteen and one, and it comforted me, man. So I'm just trying to get some comforting scriptures. All right, this is Philippians chapter three and verse uh, verse twenty. It says, "For our conversation is in heaven." All right, our conversation, the ones that are in this truth, the hopeful elect, okay, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we be of the elect. Our conversation isn't of this world, man. All right, these, these damn um, these imbeciles in the world, if they heard our conversation, they would bug out, man. As a matter of fact, they would think they would think that that we're bug outs. <laughs> they would think that that that, that we're out out of our goddamn mind. All right. They would they, they would think they would think that that that, that we're crazy. All right, well, this truth is foolishness to the world, as as the scripture says. All right, matter of fact, I gotta get that now, and I'm gonna I'll go back to that. But what we're doing is foolishness to the world, man. But it's pleasing to the heavenly Father. Oh, uh, let me see. I'm not trying to make this lesson too long. First uh, Corinthians chapter one and verse twenty-one. For after that, the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom. So, Lucky, let me read that again. First Corinthians chapter one and twenty-one. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High. The world by wisdom knew not the Most High. So the world, the, this world doesn't know the Heavenly Father, man. This world doesn't know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This world does not know that. But this, they're getting ready to, to find out. <laughs> okay? They're getting ready to find out. This world is getting ready to find out that there's a, that there's a higher power. Alright? And through the mouthpiece of, of the prophets... They they gonna know who what his name is, all right. But the majority of them are still gonna be destroyed anyway. It says, um, First Corinthians one and twenty one. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So it's pleasing to Yahweh that we're preaching his word that we're preaching his word in the world and the world is looking at it as foolishness. The the Lord loves that. The Lord is pleased by that. Cause he doesn't want these people to get it anyway. <laughs> okay? <laughs> man, that that's why this is so this truth is so great, man. Cause it's not given to everybody, man. This truth is special. This truth is special, man. 
we can't take this truth for granted. Lord willing, we, we, we endure to the end, man. Lord willing, all right. Lord willing that, that we're acceptable in the eyes of the how about some outside? Because this truth is amazing, man. This this truth is the best thing. <laughs> it's the best thing ever, man. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna read that again. Philippians three and twenty and twenty. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So we're looking for our Savior, man Yahweh Shai. We're looking for him, man. We're, we're expecting him. Because he said he was going to come back. All right. He said he was he was going to come back. In, in, uh, um, in the book of uh, uh, Matthew chapter 24, he said he was going to come back to deliver his elect. He was going to send his angels to gather his elect from the four winds, from the four corners of the earth. So that's how, that's. that's how he's coming back, man. He's coming back in what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, which are the chariots. He's gonna come back in a in a gigantic, the biggest so-called UFO ever. So big that it's gonna cover the whole sky. When you look up, the only thing you're gonna see is is his chariot. <laughs> okay, like they show you in uh in Independence Day, the movie. But that's what we're looking for, man. Our conversation is in heaven. To to hell with this with this goddamn world, man. This world is getting ready to be destroyed, man. No, we're, we're just we're just uh, getting our daily bread here. All right, we're not putting all, all, all of our um as as the saying goes, we're not putting all, all of our eggs in, in 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 this basket, so to speak. All right, we're, we're not we're not uh, uh, banking on, on this damn decrepit world, man. This this world is getting ready to be destroyed, man. We look for new heavens and a new earth, where dwell in righteousness. Verse 21, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. So he's going to change our vile bodies. He's going to give us new bodies, man. <laughs> he's going to give us new bodies. Just think about that. He's going to give us incorruptible extraterrestrial bodies. Bodies that cannot be hurt, bodies that can't get sick, bodies that can do supernatural things, bodies that can fly. He's going to give us bodies that, to where we could go to the deepest depths of the ocean and the pressure won't affect us. Bodies that, that, that we won't be able to drown, we won't be able to suffocate, we'll be able to, to, to travel, travel the stars. Like I said in John fourteen and two, we'll be able to travel the stars, man. We won't we won't suffocate in space. Bodies that they can control the elements. That's the that's the body that the Lord is gonna give us, man. That's what we're waiting for. That's the reward. That crown of righteousness, and we're never gonna sin again. And because we're not gonna sin, we're never gonna die again. Because the wages of the wages of sin is death. And since we're never going to sin again, we're never going to die again. And that's why it says in 1 Corinthians 15 that death is going to be swallowed up in victory. But that's why it says that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Because Yahweh Shai has a glorious body right now. He has an extraterrestrial body. He has an angelic body. When he comes back, people are going to see a giant so-called black man with white woolly hair and a white beard. With a white afro and a white beard, a, a giant so-called black man, because he has a, a, a angelic uh, extraterrestrial body. All right. But yeah, that was pretty much the point. I don't want to make this lesson too long. I already made it long enough. I just, I just, I wanted to get a, a couple of um, comforting scriptures, man, because I, I needed to be comforted, man. I needed to be comforted. So yeah, Lord willing. Uh, uh, this lesson was comforting to whoever watched it. Lord willing, it was edifying to the elect. And want to end this off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect.